What is up guys, Rick here with another video and today we are once again on the Amazon server collecting our loot actually. Uh, I already hit the idle master button so we got some brave trial loot here. Some nice stuff I have to say, title reward for Void Vortex and still it's the pickaxe event, Sky Labyrinth. Uh, and I think we have to do that. Uh, I, I think I absolutely forgot about that or at least didn't do it so <laughs> we definitely have to go in there and then i uh, was told i actually forgot to do broken spaces with the second aspen last time and though the second aspen doesn't fully perform like our new or or, or old aspen or a plus aspen uh does i, I think it would still be rather interesting to show them in there and um to collect the loot as well um so we are I guess about to do that, unless, of course, no, we still have some time. I wasn't quite sure if we might have even gone over the uh, the monthly reset, but no, doesn't seem like that, so we can still do that. Uh, one problem is, of course, we don't really have the material to level him up. A little bit is possible, but uh, afterwards we once again run out. So, let's actually see what the sky labyrinth has to offer for us so sky labyrinth uh, up for another six hours 52 minutes i see uh i went ahead i bought some of the mysterious chests actually i didn't buy this one on my main i bought it because i like the 30k dust but on this one i thought like yeah okay the orange artifact has not really anything uh, we can use monster materials the monster materials are still pretty huge as we're rocking our first monster of course we need it um profit orbs some uh in general, the first pack is pretty good. Hero promotion stones, and you have the heroic scroll, so that's all right. Uh, we can still use the guild coins, so and definitely a chest with copies. So last one is, is still quite nice. Uh, on my main eye, I don't usually buy that. So let's go to the sky labyrinth. Haven't done anything here. Uh, I usually prefer to go with queen. Um, I I know some people like to use Asmodel first for for one smash and then go ahead. So as I was told, more optimal to get to the five star chest, but. I usually tend to wail on those events, uh, this time I don't. And I like, the, I like Queen, she's pretty easy to use, pretty all-around good hero, and uh, worked well for me. So, um, I think we're gonna keep this pretty clean actually, and I'm not going to buy the pickaxes um, from the beginning, we're just going to use our 90 for now, and I always go, by the way, I always go like this around the stage. Um, basically makes it possible at most um, at most points to use the queen active in the bottom right corner and uh, worked out pretty well for me uh, all the time. So finishing up on the first stage here, plus four energy, we gladly take that and we got one pickaxe, two pickaxes now, so that's pretty huge and we seem to be rather unlucky in finding the portal. That's all right. Um, yeah, so now getting our first active already on stage two and as you can see when we go around here um let's take the double see if we can get pickaxes we are are we i have to do one here otherwise we will get into trouble um if you go around like this you most of the time have seven uh fields around you seven tiles around you that the queen active can actually clear and most of the time it's pretty optimal if you take the route i'm taking here so, I like to take those. Most of the time it's still right. I hope we don't delay our portal here. Did we? No, we didn't. So that was all right to take. Um, it's it's nice. I know some people avoid those um, statues. I don't know how they are actually called. Uh, labyrinth relics. But I, I, I like to get some profit drops, some um, super wishing coins. There's some nice loot um, that they lead you to. So... Um, if it's possible, I always I always try to take those and try to get the loot they offer. First treasure map shot here. I'm not sure exactly if we are going to be able to get the entire treasure map together. Would be pretty nice. On my main, I certainly like to do that as it offers quite a lot of um, quite a lot of dust. It's like 30k dust in there. First one is already available for us. Uh, 30k dust, of course, isn't that much considering. This, uh, stones now cost 100,000 dust and then you have to re-roll and that costs 15k per re-roll that's not great I think we're I'm going to delay our active didn't think we would have uh, need uh, quite that many pickaxes to clear that one stage 
Um, it's not quite nice that we can't use our active as soon as we get it, but like, really don't have an option here. Two times double, maybe we can get some pickaxes back. Uh, monster material, we take that, wishing coins. And then we are just going to proceed on further. Uh, loot wise, I mean, like, it's not really something that we need. That's five star orange equipment, that's not really useful to us. We could use some six star equipment actually to get our first resonance gear. Uh, and I think there is a chest for that. Yeah, it's here on 13, but we're not going to go that far. Never. Uh, and the conscious, uh, those, those, those things, those conscious. Are not really uh, not really worth anything. They are they are not really that good. Um, they can give you some pickaxes back, which is nice in a way, uh, but in regards to the loot, they are merely decent, so not not even that impressive to be honest. Uh, so we got that. Um, let's just buy another fifteen and proceed onwards. I think we can go a little bit further. Might even get one more active on this stage, actually. Uh, energy will surely help. I'm not quite sure we are going to go for the... Um, for the 5-star chest. I think we could reach it. I think we could reach it. Maybe we will do that. Maybe we will do that. Maybe it will be worth it. Um, yeah, apparently I need... I need some more! Mm. Let's take five for now and then we can assess whether or not we are going to proceed and try to get the um, five star chest. So now we're on the last level, uh, the one that would actually give us the five star chest. Uh, the treasure map shard doesn't matter too much, we would need to get the last one we won't get there. I think a five star chest is still rather good for us and we have enough pickaxes still left that we can buy, so I think we're going to go for it. And um, there, there are some nice copies inside of there that we can, uh, that would be uh, good for us to get those. Uh, I think the next hero we are actually going to build is going to be an Amra. I already talked to some people about that. Actually, going to need all of those. I hope that's enough. That would really suck if it wasn't. Um, a little bit of tension here. I hope this portal appears rather soon. We only have three left. <coughs> That was actually not enough. Ah, that's a problem, guys. Or it isn't. No, it isn't. It actually isn't. We get some here. <laughs> we get some here <laughs> from the uh, from the conscious. Actually, those we got the first two sta uh, two stages. Uh, it's part of the event pack. Actually, that you get the extra loot here. It's like fifty k stellar. Two of those boxes and 10k, yeah. Spiritual Essence, not really worth going for at all. It's nice if you bought the event pack and get those on top, but not like for us, it's not really worth it. Uh, I hope the five are now enough for us to actually get to the portal. <laughs> not even those are enough. Is it like that we are insanely unlucky? It feels that way. It feels like we are insanely unlucky. Is there something we can do about it? I mean, like, where, where are we conch wise? We're at 14, so one more will actually get us this 30 stack of uh, wishing coins. Do we have wishing coins? I mean, can we get to like 20? Is that possible? I mean, this includes two more. This is a little bit expensive. Doesn't really help us that much. We need to would need to get six more. How much is that? Six more is like one and a half completion. So about 360 coins that would be, which is something that we don't even have. Yeah, it's annoying, but I feel like, <sighs> nah, I'm not going to go for that. What do our event packs say? <laughs> Starry packs like 250. It's like tenner. Nah, now nah, we're just going to skip on the chest, I think. We're just going to skip on the chest. Doesn't feel worth it. I feel like we got super unlucky uh, somewhere. Um, but like, I, w I won't spend the tenor. I, I told you guys we would go for good events 
And this event is certainly not a good one. Um, definitely not. Those conscious are not really worth it. Uh, we did the soul awakening stuff, so that was all right. That was a, that was pretty decent as always. Um, but I think beyond that, we are we are done with that event and are going to wait for the next one, which is going to be interesting. Um, Merry Carnival and at the same time the Arnia release uh, that we talked about um, in the video I made like. One or two days ago? I'm not sure. I made a video about Aranea. And she looks pretty fine. She looks like a pretty cool hero and the hero that uh, we would want to build. Not on this account. Uh, I'm not even sure we are going to build it on my main, to be honest. Um, kind of ran out of Herox Golds there. Still not in any talks with the age. So, like, um, maybe I, I will get uh, to play her on a different account. Have to see what people can offer me and what po possibilities I have there. But I, I have some friends that uh, will surely build her, even if I don't. And I'm not even sure about that yet. I have to see tomorrow's event um, from the from the, um, from the the patch notes you once again couldn't see if it was really good or a bad event. There were once again some mistakes in there and uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't quite sure. I wasn't quite sure about it. So, Broken Spaces. We were at stage 7 actually. Um, stage 7 against Aspen and Ada. I think we have to set uh, proper proper skills here. Um, our second Aspen won't really cut it against um, Aspen and Ada. Um, it, will, it won't be very good against those. Uh, we will take Attribute Reduction Purify. There was the question whether or not um, Ada's healing effect reduction is actually a mark i was asked that maybe we can we can talk about that for a second um ada does indeed have a mark and that mark is her balance mark when enemies inflicted with balance mark cast uh, casting active skills they will take that is not right um they will take damage by 25 percent of enemies max hp the damage caps at 3000 percent of ada's attack so actually pretty cool mark um kind of like it and as all marks can kill through unbending will by the way uh, and then on the on another skill, is it that one? No, that's the basic attack. It just does damage and restores her health. And then we have the last one. When round ends, deals 300% of enemies attack damage against all enemies, reduces their effect of being healed by 10% and recovers self HP by 15% of mark, max HP. So we can see that passive skill is actually um, not connected to the mark at all. So he is, it is indeed... Um, an attribute and we can see that even more once we enter the fight let's do that um let's just do one battle here um, maybe even more we should put the aspen in here and if you take a close look you will actually see a red symbol with a heart and a minus over both uh, our first and second aspen set and you will see that on the a plus aspen this will stay at one layer while on the other aspen um, over time there will be more and more layers of this uh, effect and this is actually the reduced seal effect as this one doesn't have any uh, attribute reduction while this one does so there's one one on here as well and then there's two and uh, oh the other one died already <laughs> that was fast uh, that was actually fast uh, this one can survive a little bit longer broken spaces 7 is pretty rough and we don't have the best gear for our second aspen so um, I would mostly see it as something that we build towards and that we are work towards and not like a finished hero. As you can see, it's not remotely comparable. We invested a lot in, the, in this Aspen, a lot of time in this Aspen. And this one, this one will follow, will get stronger and um, is working towards being a good tenant. That's mostly, that's mostly his purpose. And uh, I think we did, was, was that 4%? Let's see one more. Uh, let's see one more. Hitting them again. Uh, we should see some huge Aspen damage once those enemies actually get uh, to lower life. Uh, that should actually be quite interesting, getting one more Aspen active from the our small Aspen here. Uh, they of course have a lot of health. They have a lot of health and our damage varies quite a lot. Mm, I think I want to smash like, let's say 50. 50 is a good number, I think. Um, and we took out, I think it was one of those. And then let's see where they actually end up. Oh, we, we cleared in 50. That is surprising. I would not have expected. Oh, well, I should have expected that, right? was a little bit stupid. I wanted to do one more fight when they are low life, actually. Uh, let's see how we do against Broken Spaces 8. Uh, I would imagine we get massacred. <laughs> 
I don't quite remember the amount of life they had. Uh, just noticed that. The, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, maybe once we build LFA, we will have a chance here. But for now, it's like uh, we collect our broken spaces, seven loot, and are are quite happy with that for now, I guess. Um, and clearing broken spaces seven has the nice added advantage that we get the uh, loot from the monthly events as well. So that's pretty huge in itself already. I can upgrade here, fifty-two already on that aura. Um, when we max that out, we'll actually go for HP. Not going to focus too much on PvP for now. Um, can always do that later. And that's really something uh, that we can talk about for a second as well. People always tend to focus on PvP, and I can understand, it's fun. But, like, what really wins you PvP, aside from spending money, obviously, um, is PvE progress. Having good PvE progress. You can be... Um, the best PvP player, if you just focus on PvP and not on PvE, you don't have a chance. Somebody that has cleared like Vanquish and Dominator, or when, when you are just an explorer or something, the other guy will always get more stellar, he will always get more progress, he will always be better than you. Even if his team is set worse or something, it doesn't really matter. Um, so like PvE progress is really something that in the long term decides whether or not you are good in PV, uh, in PV, uh, PvP. Long-term PvE progress decides if you're good in PvP. That's what I wanted to say. I was confused. And I was told I was confused uh, in my last Aspen video as well. I, uh, people made jokes about me saying that Oberon plants a seed up on my SFX. Apparently that's wrong. And you don't say that. I was told that is uh, that is something that I shouldn't say. <laughs> I thought, thought that it was quite, uh, quite funny. I didn't notice. I personally didn't notice that. But uh, I was told... It is it is not something that you usually say. Uh, didn't we attack here? We did. We did. It's all right. A uh, guild other we by the way now cleared all the 60 bosses, which is quite cool. First one I apparently soloed, then <laughs> this one with Lord Eric, and the last one we can check that out. Um, trusty Faithblade. I did hit this one. This one though. That's a lie that I wasn't here. <laughs> that game is lying to you guys. I think I one shot it at like 20% or something. Um, I always waited a day and then cleared the rest of the boss. I wanted to give everybody a chance to actually attack. Uh, I notice I don't, I'm not on, on quite a few of those, I'm not a pre uh, present, which is uh, kind of interesting. And I think a bug, or well, that one I soloed apparently. Yeah, it was the problem was I just need one hit to actually kill those bosses, so. Um, or one attempt to actually kill those bosses, so it was a little bit difficult, but I wanted every guild member to have the chance to actually get some loot, get some progress, and so we did that, basically, and uh, it worked out quite well. Uh, still progressing a bit in Realmscape, we're not going to do that now, I'm going to do that likely alone. Um, trying to get the Void Corruption up a little bit. The main problem for us is still is still the uh, Amra stages. Amra is such a monster against Aspen. One healing curse on Aspen and he's basically gone. So that's not really that great. Mm, we are getting closer to V4 as well. That is something I, I looked out for. Um, four more stages remaining, a little bit more than one sphere that we are missing. So... Um, with some luck, we will get that quite soon, and it will be quite a huge buff. Uh, what I didn't expect was that we would take very long to get the um, 5 million Crystal of Transcendence. I'm a little bit too used to getting it in um, below two months, uh, so that I have like every Transcendence Hero on the schedule. Um, on this account, of course, it will take a little bit longer. We could wait a little bit and, and get it faster by buying some cores. Not going to convert them to... Crystal of Transcendence, of course, uh, but we could make that a little bit faster. But I guess it's kind of okay if we take our time. Our Aspen is very strong. We are in a good spot. I'm not really, not really uh, afraid of uh, of losing some time here. It's it's all alright. I'm pretty happy with that. And we once again have four planets unlocked. I think we're just going to smash it. In um, too much that we can do anyway. We succeeded two times against who did we lose? We lost against against Greeny! We know that guy. 
Greeny from the Discord server that you uh, should, by the way, de most definitely join my Discord server. Um, absolutely a nice place. Still very happy I made it. It turned out so well. Um, you can actually find the link in the description um, and basically just join, hang out with all the people and uh, we are always chatting there. You can ask PvE questions, PvP questions. We have all that stuff in there. Nice general chat. Uh, if you are a member on my YouTube channel, which is also something I can recommend, you can also get some, some colorful names and there's also an option for you. Uh, but feel free to just hang around. I'm always in there. You can write me uh, stuff and I will I will answer questions and everything. Uh, it's good fun and I, I very much enjoy hanging out with the guys and getting in touch. Oh, you find all the new videos there as well. Uh, nice fight by the Grey Greenie with the crown on the Eloise, which is absolutely solid setup most definitely is and uh, something that you should build if you don't have an a plus aspen if you have an a plus aspen you can build whatever <laughs> you want so uh, that frees us a little bit uh, beyond that i'm trying to progress here upgrading our gem mine slowly um, is something that i'm working towards 38 on this one and now 38 on this one as well which is quite nice uh, we're getting closer to the next prosperity upgrade, which should grant us... It grants us magic dust. We can use magic dust, that's good. So, uh, even more there. And our, our resource output here is, is quite sufficient, quite a nice uh, stuff. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the progress of this Celestial Island, actually. It's, it's quite alright. Uh, our adventure currently at 71%. Is the boat fixed? Still right. Um, isn't really too much that we can do. One thing I always do is, uh, or try to do as often as I can, is get uh, this loot. That that's, doesn't seem like a whole lot if you if you do uh, regularly visit other people, give them their maintenance, give them their stuff. But you get 750 for each time you do this. Basically, each time you give somebody a maintain, and then you get your um, your resource chests here, and those are 3,000 uh, resources as well. You can consume your seagull here and um, this will give you another 3000 resources and of course the resources you earn for the adventure association so there are certainly some resources here and we are of course collecting those until we can use them which shouldn't be too long um got a good 1.2 uh, million ci materials already here i've also bought these soul hammers um i had a reset in the in the um, starry gem wall we bought these soul hammers I thought about re-rolling the Aspen actually and it was something I, I definitely considered and if we take a look at our roll it's actually crit damage reduction giant killer and crit isn't too optimal for Aspen actually I mean like it's a damage stat that's good um, and not too bad of a damage stat we can earn attack and crit damage so that's something that we, we don't really worry about um but beyond that we actually have 35 percent of crit already so that's not even that important actually um but like i mean it's okay it's it's really okay we are 75 percent now with that uh, so for now that will be sufficient and um, and i think i will just keep the hammers and as soon as we transition to lfa we will have a bunch of hammers to go for a better roll that's more fitting for lfa and uh, we'll do better on him and it's not bad to save some soul hammers it's worse to need them uh, than to have them i guess so i don't mind the extra spending um just having those hammers this is quite all right and uh, now let's take a look at the super wishing fountain something i rerolled uh, every now and then looking for cool hero that we might need like an Ezreal or something because we have 85 super wishing coins eventually have to use those to maybe to get some cores some um, monster materials as well um, I think I have six cores. We can throw those into fate again. Last time we were pretty lucky with that. I hope that sticks and I hope we can get lucky again. Um, would be nice to get another sphere. Or a bait. We take a bait. <laughs> a bait isn't bad. Um, but the sphere would be better. If we could uh, get two spheres it would be instant before and we would instantly build our first home. Which would be quite huge. But getting one would be nice as well. And basically every single pull brings us also closer to our next one. 7-0, you always get like about 8k uh, mats. 
Uh, doesn't seem like we are lucky this time. Last time we weren't, we were way too lucky. Okay, no core sphere this time for us is the risk with fate. We can live with that. Our gain on spheres isn't that consistent. Then again, we only had six cores, so not that many actually. Buying them daily still, um, even though it rips a little bit into our gems. Um, but that's quite all right. Uh, we got an achievement. One more core. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back through that and maybe it can save us and get us the sphere we desperately wanted. Give it! Um, I take an Amra. I can I can complain about an Amra. Because Amra is actually our next hero. If you didn't know that, I told that to some people, but this girl is going to be our next hero and the main reason is she is pretty useful. Um, and not only that, she's also a tenant for LFA. Not the best tenant for the slot, that would be Onkiri Maru, but Amra has the added upside of being a pretty useful hero and we can use her in Dark SL if we want to push further. And the big thing about Amra is not only um, the, the the Guardian Shadow that offsets enemy damage when you are hit, it's also the healing curses. And we talked about those healing curses demolishing my Aspen. Um, we, I would expect that some of our enemies, uh, a little bit thinking about PvP, uh, will run SFX, so having like healing curses from Amra will be huge, but beyond that, it's also huge for PvE. Thinking about Void Vortex, uh, one enemy that uh, comes to mind is definitely Garuda, and Garuda suffers when you have um, Amra. You can really block Garuda ceiling, and um, that is something that surely does help, and um, is something I would absolutely recommend, and was the reason Amra was used in earlier Vortex clears before people started just smashing that with a 2.4 million attack SFX or something. Um, Amra was quite often used and her healing curses were quite beneficial. And was, by the way, also the hero I looked forward to, most forward to, uh, to bringing to uh, V3 when DH first released Stellar Shards, because I thought like, wow, that's such a huge upgrade. Uh, not getting like the, I don't think, how, how many healing curses were that? Um, curses enemy two times and uh, healing curse on one random enemy and then having healing curses on three random enemies and it sounded like so insane to spread those healing curses to block and deny any heal and to murder heroes like SFX that just heal based on the damage they deal. Um, and it was definitely a cool hero, fell a bit out of meta, I have to say. Sadly so, I have an A- minus on my main account. I would definitely love to use that. But I guess that's enough for this episode, guys. We're already at 27 minutes again. I would wish you guys a great week, and we will see us in the next one.